Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We've got Antonio with us, our boatless angler. Phil's with us today as well and we're up here just north of Kingston. We're, we're ice fishing today on a lake called Sydenham Lake and the target today folks is going to be pike. We're looking for pike and we brought along our tip-ups. I took mine out of the archives. This is an old one. I uh, had a broken flag on it. I had to uh, repair, it, repair it a bit. You got the latest and greatest. <laughs> All ready to go. Ready to go. Oh, is it good AMFM on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And you got a newer one as well. Yeah, it's fairly new, yeah. Yeah, so the way these work, folks, they're real simple to use. Basically, as you can see, I gotta take my flag out. Um, you've got a little spool of line here, and I've gone down to a T-turn rig. I've got a T-turn tied off to, a, to a, a nice large size hook there for pike down to a sinker. And this just goes down in the hole and stays down in the water. This will sit right on the hole. And what you'll know, folks, is this little arm here turns. This moves freely. So what you do is there's two settings on the top of this arm. There's a light setting and then a deeper setting which, which holds it firmer. And what happens is when the fish bite, they'll start to take your line which turns the top knob and the flag will will fly up and then when you see that flag up you got to go up and set the hook typically with your hands yes you, you don't use the spool no you don't it's no a hand line hand line you use the hand to set the hook and the hand to kind of uh, bring them in as well so that's your drag that's your spool that's everything right there <laughs> it's a one to one ratio retrieve one to one <laughs> ratio exactly so the advantage of these, you can spread these out fairly far and uh, you can be fishing another hole and keep an eye on your flag and when you see that flag go up, you've got to run and go set the hook. Okay, we've got a number of huts behind us here. Uh, one of them is actually playing some music. Not a great idea when you're ice fishing, eh guys? No. It makes noise. The fish hear the noise. They won't come around. You've got to keep quiet. So. Especially it's only eight feet deep here. So. Yeah, the water is... Shallow. Eight feet, you said, Antonio? Eight, six to eight feet, so. Six to eight feet. Quiet is key. So we're going to fish actually suspended. And like I said, because these are free spooling, as soon as you drop it down, it's going to want to go right down to the bottom. But what you do is when you find the depth you want, just stop it, and then you can put your, your flag on the on the little arm there, and that'll hold your line at whatever, whatever depth you want to fish. So I think today we're going to go two, three feet below the surface. Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Phil? Sure. About the same? Yeah, we'll try that. We're going to fish suspended. There's some weeds there, and hopefully we'll get into some pike. Good. Going. <laughs> you appreciate the podio. See you I got my landing net here, my two hands. I'm going to lose them, I think. Good bite? Yeah. Now this is just on the rod, so we got the, we've got the uh, flags going over there. The tip-ups are going there. And he took your live bait? He did, yeah. There's lots of weeds, so hopefully we can get oh, a Lots of weeds, look at that. Oh, oh there he is. Hang on, hang on. Nice. There you go. Hey, not bad. It's <laughs> a, a nice little pike, Antonio. Good start to the day. Hey. Okay. Mouthful of weeds. Mouthful of weeds. I got lucky. Oh, look at that. Right oh, in the side oh. of the mouth. Good job, Antonio. Thanks. That's good, that's good. Just two feet below the ice. So. Just below the surface, eh? Yep. Nice. Good one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And that's the whole advantage of having you could fish with one line, have the other one rigged. The flags are down there, the tip ups are there, and uh, that's the way to do it. Scare it out again, Phil. Wow. <laughs> Run, doubled right over. Oh, he's, he's feeling drag. <laughs> oh, nice. unbelievable. Folks, this is unbelievable fishing. It's action at its best. Oh, it's a pike. And let's see if I can get his head here. Oh, it's a nice There one. he is, Antonio. Can you grab him? Nice. nice. Oh. Another nice sized pike. Chunky. Hey? Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Those big long hooks are doing the trick. That's nice. Hey? Yeah, it's a nice healthy one. Nice healthy pike. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh he's gonna go back in. <laughs> At least he's nice and clean. That last one, they had a gash in him. Oh, there goes my rod. Hopefully your rod's going. Go get him, Phil. Oh, there goes your rod. Oh, man. Lost him? Lost him. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, that exercise for nothing, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Good thing I plugged the hole with the pail, otherwise it would have been a goner. Jeez. You missed the pail, right? Stepping away from the hole. Did you miss them? Yeah, I, put the, I covered the hole with the pail as I went to go check out your fish. And it's a good thing I did because this was going down. Unbelievable action. This is unbelievable. I leave the hole, something happens. Well, you know what I did the last time? What's that? I put my reel on free spool so that if they take it, let them yeah. just take it. And that's the advantage of these, uh, these tip ups. If they pull the tip up, it's free spool, and they can't pull it down the hole because it's sitting right on the hole. So the tip ups are, uh, there's no risk idea. of losing your tip up, but we only had one hit on the tip up so far. I don't know why that is, but. I had something on there, and I don't know what it was. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, well. Fish! Hold, hold! Well, here we go. Uh, flag, flag's up, flag's up. <laughs> Shiner's all, maybe maybe you pulled just too soon. No, he let go. Look at that shiner's all chewed up. Check that out, folks. Look at that. It's all chewed up there. He let go, he didn't have the hook set. He didn't, he didn't, he let go. Wow, this didn't is... didn't get there in time. <laughs> this, this fishing at its best, folks. Fishing at its best. Beautiful day, not too cold, and the fish are on big time. We're having a great day out here, folks. My rod went in the water, Antonio. Fish took it right in. Are you napping? No. Oh no. Still have the fish? I don't know. See the rod at least? I can see the rod. I'm trying to get it. Oh yeah, I see your rod. Oh no. I'm going to here. You want to try it? You I down? just turned my head for one minute. Oh no, he's going to swim away. Get it down there, Antonio. Okay, move your line. See if you can get it with that smaller hook. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry about that. You got it? Yes. Hang on. I'm gonna have to reach, aren't I? I would uh, say. Can you? Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, folks. Okay. Don't lose my fish, rod. If you have a fish on that, I'd be amazed. I hope I do. I'm just gonna have to get wet. I don't feel any pulling. No. But then again, I don't know what part of the rod I have. Ah, you got the middle part of the rod. Okay, just stick my arm in, that's all. Okay. Oh, wow. I think you broke your line. Look at that. Yep. Snapped my line, that's what he did. He took my line and snapped oh. it. I got no sinker and I lost one T turn. Son of a gun. And a mess. a mess. That must have been a big bite. Okay, I'll have to re-rig. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I just turned for one minute. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> folks, I don't know if you saw my... Oh, oh, oh. When I lost that other rod, I was just rigging it up. I dropped this line down in the meanwhile. And boammo, another hit. Oh, pay my, attention. My other rod isn't even... Oh, oh, it's, it's a, a nice, nice pike. It's a nice one. My other rod isn't even, here he comes, here he comes. There you go, sweet. Nice, nice. pike. <laughs> oh, he's got a pike bite on him. He does too. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's got a tea turn in him. No, it's not the same fish. Oh, he's gonna go right back in. Hey. Nice. Look at that, I'm not even re-rigged my, <laughs> my rod that went in the water. I was just re-rigging it and I put this line down in the meanwhile and this one went off. So good thing this one didn't go in. Yeah, I was lucky. Oh, that was great. It's good action. Yeah. Okay. And the, that long hook right in the side of the mouth. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Hey. Nice. That was great. <laughs> your rod. You're, you're lucky you got that rod. Unbelievable. Oh, it's just a little one, eh? Just a little guy. Folks, his rod what? was going in too. Look oh, at that. Wow. Just a little thing. A little hammer handle. Yeah. But I oh. just switched over to the tea turn and bait because uh, it seems to be that, that's there's a your, ticket today. There's your bait. Yeah. Yeah. And a uh, little hammer away handle. From the hole almost like guaranteed to get a bite. <laughs> You put the T-turn in just because we I just we're getting... did it right now. I just yeah. put on a T-turn. 
And yeah. I'm going with a live bait because I was using a jigging spoon. And I just put the, the live minnow on there, dropped her down. Nice. Went to set up my tip up and my rod was going down the hole. <laughs> but it was just a little guy. So now, uh, the key. Nothing too exciting. The key are these T turns. Because what they do, folks, is they allow your minnow to swim around freely. And that's what we're, that's what we're doing. That's what I've got on mine. That's what Antonio's got on his, and now Phil's rigged yeah. up as well. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to be landed. He just jumped right out. <laughs> thought he was another bass. Oh, he couldn't wait. Eh? Hey? He couldn't wait to get out of that cold Good. water. Oh. Doesn't take them long to doesn't take long to get them out of a hole when you only got three feet of line. <laughs> it's real shallow. Well, there's like. Six feet of water, but the bottom three feet are all weeds, so we're only fishing two, three feet below yeah. the surface. Nice. Skinny guy. That's all right. Nice, nice little fight. Seems too small in this, this area over here. Bigger than that little hammer handle you got. True. Yeah? Yeah. It's one of the sledgehammer. Back you got those. That was... <laughs> yeah, tip up. Finally, back in. Hey. Okay. Oh, in line. Nice. Feels like a good one. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I like your drag system. <laughs> like that. It's all about feel. I saw your flag just go yeah, up. That was great. Good thing I was watching, eh? Ooh. 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 He's, he's gonna break he's, my line, I wow, think. Wow, he's going all over. Take your time, Antonio. Can see him going under the ice. Just bolting. He's not huge, but there he is. Oh, that's you a got nice one. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> nice bike. Hey, nice bike. See what I mean? You can see the line on the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could have been reeling it in actually too to help you out. But you're right. With the braid, you could you could see it. Nice. Well, our first fish on the. Uh, they haven't been producing. Finally produced. Well, folks, we're having just an outstanding time on the water, and you know what? Our winters are long. Why not get out there and enjoy them and do some ice fishing? And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And as always, folks, I sure hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. And right away, we're into more fish here. We're getting them quicker. And they seem to be, well, the last few we got were a little bit bigger.